Hey, what is up guys? I'm Greg Builds and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create a large wooden modern house. And this estate has two large floors, as well as a garage. And it also has an outdoor upper level deck. This wooden modern house will be perfect for your Minecraft world. And I can't wait to show you how to make this build. Also, the completed interior of this house will be showcased at the end of the video. Now this build is broken down into nine steps. And without further ado, let's start the build. Also, this large wooden modern house is roughly 23 by 17 blocks wide, and it is 11 blocks tall. Now here's a complete list of the materials you need to build this house. Also, out of all these materials, quartz may be hard to find. So an easy replacement for quartz blocks can be birch planks, and a substitute for quartz slabs can be birch slabs. Or you could use diorite or diorite slabs. Also, this entire build project will require a 23 block area by 17 block area spacing. And I marked my area out with coarse dirt blocks. And you can do the same, that way you know how big the layout is before we start the build. In addition, this build level is rated at an advanced to expert level on the Greg Builds building scale. However, I'll be here step by step to help guide you through this build process. Step 1. First let's create the left side of the house. We'll need 272 spruce planks and 68 quartz blocks. Let's start at the back left corner of the marked out area. Make a 7 wide spruce plank row. Then make the side a total of 12 spruce planks wide. Then we can connect the 7 by 12 rectangle back around. Then let's add three additional spruce planks on top of the pattern, and this will make the spruce wall a total of four blocks tall. Then we can fill in the wall all the way around. Next was add a ring of quartz blocks on top of the spruce walls. And again, if quartz materials are too difficult to find, you could substitute the quartz blocks for birch blocks or diorite blocks. Next was add four more spruce planks on top of the quartz ring. Then extend this wall all the way around. Then on top, let's add another ring of quartz blocks. Step 2. Next let's add in the middle and right side section of the house. We'll need 433 spruce planks and 52 quartz blocks. First let's head inside the structure we just made. Then at the 5th block up, let's add in a spruce floor. And the 5th block up will be at the same level as the quartz ring. Next, let's add a 16 wide spruce row along the back. Then we can make the side a total of 17 blocks wide. Then make a 7 wide front section. Then 
then make a section that goes back 6 blocks. Then we can connect back to the other section of the house. Then let's add 3 more spruce planks on top of this pattern, and that will make the spruce wall a total of 4 blocks tall. Then we can add a ring of quartz blocks on top. Next let's add a spruce floor at the side of the quartz ring. Step 3. Next let's work on the second floor. We'll need 184 spruce planks and 46 quartz blocks. To start, let's add a 16 wide spruce row along the back. Then make this side a total of 14 blocks wide. Then make the front 7 blocks wide. Then we can make this side a total of 3 blocks long. Then let's connect the wall back to the other side of the house. Next we can add in 3 spruce planks on top of the existing pattern. And that will make the wall a total of 4 blocks tall. Then we can add a ring of quartz blocks on top of the spruce walls. And again, if quartz are too hard to find, you can replace the material with birch planks or diorite. Step 4. Next let's work on the garage door and front patio. We'll need 15 light gray concrete blocks. 5 wooden buttons, 16 stone brick blocks, and 11 stone brick stairs. At the front left of the house, move over a space, then clear a 3 tall by 5 wide opening. Then we can add in light gray concrete blocks one space set back. Then once completed, we can add in wooden buttons to the front for a decoration. Then we can add 8 stone brick blocks in the other corner. Then we can add another row of 8 stone brick blocks in front of that. 
Then we'll try up Stonebrook stairs along the front and down the sides. And now complete the front patio. Step 5. Next we'll add in the doors and windows. We'll need 230 black glass panes, 2 spruce doors, and 2 glass blocks. First let's make a 2x2 two two window one column over from the garage door. Then let's leave one space and add in a doorway. And make another 2x2 two two window. Then let's clear three rows on the side. And one row along the front. Then we can add in glass panes. Then we can clear a row in the front. and three rows along the side. Then to work on the side of the house, let's leave two blocks of spacing. Then clear a two wide window. Then leave two blocks of spacing, then clear a two wide window by three tall. Then leave two blocks of spacing, and then we can make another two wide by three tall window. Then along the back side of the house, let's leave two blocks of spacing, then make a three wide window. Then two blocks of spacing, a three wide window, then three blocks of spacing, then a three wide window, two blocks of spacing, and one more three wide window. Then for the other side, we can leave three planks of spacing, then a two wide window. Then two planks of spacing, then a two wide window. and then three planks of spacing on the end. Next, let's move up to the second level windows. And up above the garage door, we can clear a five wide by two tall opening. Then make a four tall by two wide opening. And this will line up with the window below. Then we could clear a small, two tall window, and this will line up directly with the door down below. Then we can make a window lining up with the other window that is below it. Next we can work on the windows along the front deck. Clear a four tall strip. Then leave a column, then clear another strip. And in this strip, we can add in a door. And above the door, add in two glass blocks. Then leave a column. And then after that, we can add in another strip of glass panes. Then at the side of the house, we can make windows that run the full length. 
from the first quartz crossbeam to the top quartz crossbeam. And line these windows up with the ones below. Then we could do the same for the back side, lining the upper windows with the ones down below. Then let's repeat the same process for the other side of the house. Step 6. Next let's add in the first floor, staircase, and interior walls. Only 219 spruce planks, 43 light gray concrete, 6 spruce doors, and 12 spruce stairs. Inside the house, let's lay down the first floor on top of the grass blocks and stop the floor where the wall jogs back. Then once this section is filled in, we can add an interior wall on top. Add four additional planks on top and fill above the planks. Then we can add four more planks on the other side. And we can fill above this row as well. Then we can add in spruce doors and stairs on the other side. Then we can replace the grass with spruce planks. Then once completed, we can head back inside to the main section. Then in here, we can add in two more spruce doors along the other wall and make these doors in the middle of the wall. Also, these doors will line up with the other ones across from it. Then we can add in two stairs on the back side and replace the grass with light gray concrete as this will be the garage flooring. Then we can head back to the main section and add a staircase up to the second floor. And I'm going to start this staircase one space back from the side wall. Then up on the top second floor, we can add in a door on either side of the wall. Then make a divider in the center, and this will make two smaller rooms. Step 7. Next up is the outside trim and roof. We'll need 398 quartz slabs, 210 quartz blocks, and 56 black stained glass blocks. At the first quartz crossbeam, let's add a quartz slab at the side of the bottom half of the quartz block. Then place a placeholder block and attach a slab next to it. And this slab will be half a space above the first quartz block. Then we can remove the placeholder. Then let's wrap these two rows of slabs around the entire house.
Next, let's do the same for the next layer of quartz blocks. To refresh, add a slab to the bottom half of the quartz block. Then add another slab half a space above the quartz block. Then wrap the slabs all the way around. Then let's fill in the roof with quartz blocks. Next, let's add in skylights. At the back corner, move over three quartz blocks. Then move back an additional two quartz blocks. Then we can make an eight long by three wide opening. Then we can make a similar eight long by three wide block opening on the other side. Move over three quartz blocks. Then back an additional two spaces and clear this block. Then continue making the 8 long by 3 wide window opening. Then we can make a skylight in the center. Line the center skylight up with the front door. Then move back to the third quartz block. And we can clear 8 blocks starting on the third space back. Then we can edge the outer blocks around the opening with quartz slabs. Then once completed, fill in the center with glass blocks. And this will help let natural light inside the house. Step 8. Next, let's add a driveway. We'll need 10 stone slabs and 30 gray concrete blocks. At the edge of the building, add 5 stone slabs. Then add 5 stone slabs next to the stairs. Then we can fill in the center with gray concrete blocks. Also, as an additional option, we can decorate the patio. And I'm going to decorate my patio by adding cauldrons down and placing oak leaves on top of the cauldrons. And these will make patio plants. Step 9. Lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you how I did mine.
Thanks guys for watching and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many in your playlist that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.